Hi, I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make over your bathroom vanity. If you're ready to get started, let's do this. Your bathroom vanity is often overlooked. But let me tell you, it's a great way to practice if you've ever thought about redoing your kitchen cabinets. A great place to practice and get started, get the feel of it, is in your bathroom. Bathroom vanities are so much smaller and more manageable, and it's a great project you can do in just a day. So that's what we're working on today, and I want to show you how to do it. This is my bathroom vanity, and if you have been following along with our house projects at all. You can see more on the blog at rootsandwingsfurniture.com. But we have been trying to banish oak out of this house. We are on that path and um, in this room the vanity is one of the last things that needs a little attention. So this is just plain old oak builder grade vanity that we're going to make over today. A couple of things just to keep in mind and consider before we even get started is your hardware. It looks like to me before we moved in someone had redone the, the countertops at some point and obviously these I don't think these are original hardware um, but I want to change them. So what I did was I picked out hardware that matches the same holes. All you do you measure the from screw to screw along the back. That's called the center to center. I think these were three inches, pretty standard. On most cabinets, it's gonna be a standard measurement. And then I found hardware um, that had the same measurement online, got these in, um, and these are what are going to be replaced with. Now, it's good to do that now because in case I did wanna to totally change it up, I would have to fill the holes and sand it down. So I wanna know what hardware is going in before I even get started. And then the other thing to consider is what color you're gonna paint it. I These are gonna be um, darker color. This is Gravel Road from Dixie Belle. That's what I'm gonna use on these. It's a really nice, warm, kind of a mix between a brown, a black, and a gray. I am really excited about this color. It's gonna go in the room perfectly. And it contrasts nicely with the countertop. So we're gonna get a nice contrast here, which is something that I always really like. Um, and it's gonna cover really nicely. If you are doing a lighter color over your oak cabinets, you're gonna have to prime. That's another topic for another video, so we'll leave that. Um, for this video, like I say, we're doing the darker color. So we don't need to prime. It's gonna save us a step uh, and it's gonna cover really nice. So let me get some prep work done here and we will get started. All right, let's talk about some prep here. So first things first, we're gonna take off the hardware that's existing. And it's usually just a couple screws. I am going to remove these doors and paint them in the garage. And that will just give us a little bit of a nicer finish. Now, I did a video before where I left the doors on. You can paint them in place and you can definitely do that if you just wanna do it quickly. Kind of check your hinges and see where the door overlaps. Just make sure you can get your brush in all of those places and you can leave the doors on if you want. For this, we're gonna take it off, take them off, take them outside and give them a really nice um, finish but either way is totally fine. So this is oak, like we talked about. It is rough as in, it's like it has maybe some water damage to it at some point. The grain is really raised. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a sanding for two reasons. One, so the paint has something to really stick to in the smooth places, and also to kind of knock down the, the raised grain that we have going on here. This paint does not require sanding beforehand to prep it, um, but if you've got really smooth cabinets, you might wanna do it just as a precaution. So we're gonna do that really quick. I'm gonna do it with the doors on just since they're in place, they're hanging, which is super handy. I'm just gonna do circular motion. It only takes just a couple minutes to get it sanded enough. And then we are gonna clean it with White Lightning. Uh, White Lightning is from Dixie Bell. It is a TSP product. Um, but it's even better than TSP. It's got some good cleaning agents in it. It's gonna clean it without leaving any soapy residue. I've just mixed it with water in this spray bottle. It is not, there's no scent to it at all. We're gonna just take paper towels and clean it off really good. This will get the sawdust 
this is going to get the dust, any dirt, grime that's on these cabinets. Uh, and to rinse it, I'm just going to use a damp paper towel, just damp with water. I'll go over it one more time. For a full supply list of everything you will need to create this awesome finish, check out the description below this video. All right, the cabinet doors are off and everything is dry, so it is time to paint. Here is the color. It's really pretty. I'm excited about this. And I've got my Dixie Belle brush. I'm gonna just start up here and go for it. Remember, Dixie Belle paint is really nice and thick, which means it has great coverage. I am just trying to go with the grain here as much as I can. Again, since this is oak, we're gonna get some of that grain showing through. So we're gonna take our paint along with the grain just to give it as nice of a finish as we can. And since we took the doors off, I am gonna come in um, right here on all of the frames. I feel like that looks really professional, but the coverage on this is fantastic. And I think one coat might really be all we need. Okay, I've gotten the doors out here in the garage set up on sawhorses so I can get to them really well. One trick when you're painting doors is just to get the paint inside the detail of the door first. Just kind of squish it in there. Make sure it's getting all of the cracks and crevices first. And then once that's done, go ahead and get some more paint and smooth out the flat surfaces. That will just help you catch any drips that might happen. Kind of gives a nice rhythm, especially if you're gonna do like a whole kitchen worth of cabinets. Now what I'll do, I'll just paint this side, let it dry and I'll flip them over and paint the backs before we install them. Okay, while the doors are drying in the garage, let's work on top coat. This is dry. Now, Dixie Belle doesn't need a top coat. However, it is a very flat, matte, chalky finish paint. So you probably don't want just that for your cabinets. I am going to use Gator Hide to seal these. Gator Hide is their strongest top coat. It repels water. So I might be able to get away with not quite this strong, but in a little bathroom, it gets really steamy. And obviously the doors had a little bit of water damage, so they need something strong. So we're gonna use Gator Hide. I am going to use a um, Dixie Bell mini brush, just a nice clean brush, synthetic bristles. It's gonna give a really nice finish. So we are going to basically apply this the same way we did the paint. The trick with this is it dries pretty quickly. So we need to apply it in a nice even coat, kind of go over it once with the brush and then leave it alone and let it do its work of self leveling. So we're going to get it on there as evenly as we can. Okay. I'm just going to let this dry, see what it looks like. Uh, before I put the doors back on, definitely give it at least two hours to dry. If you felt like you needed another coat, then you could do it after that two hour time frame. So I'm gonna finish this up and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's done. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my website, rootsandwingsfurniture.com for more painting tips and tricks and DIY. Also subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss a thing. Click the button below.